All right, so you guys will step in and you'll sit sort of right in here. Maybe so it can be that way or this side. So do I sit like here? Yeah, sit kind of on the outside somewhere in this okay. zone. And then I'll sit at the back. Okay. And we'll kind of face that way, but we'll also be looking all over, looking at the mountains, looking at the wildlife. Comfy? Yeah. This is home I'm not <laughs> too big like <laughs> nice and big isn't it? Uh, I hope I'm not too big for it. <laughs> oh no you're good. <laughs> And off we go. So here the speed limit is. Yeah, the speed. Well, <laughs> we're probably moving about five miles an hour. And later, when people go tubing, the river will be so low it'll be one mile an hour. That's fast. It'll take four <laughs> hours to float back. Four hours on an inner tube. Yeah. So that means you can take. A nap there. You could. People take a nap, people <laughs> pack their lunches. Hello again! It's rough. I'm stressed. <laughs> That's nice, huh? I have a house right on the river, a little deck in the sun. Oh, yeah. You guys live in the Seattle area? Mm -hmm. like Bellevue or something? Yeah. yeah. I grew up over in Woodenville. Oh, yeah. Nice little college at the University of Washington. You'll be able to hear a lot of different bird sounds, like the ones we're hearing now, a little tweet, tweet, tweet. Yes, but perfect. Then also this woodpecker I'm hearing. Yeah. Woodpeckers, you know, they'll peck on wood for catching bugs, but then they'll also make this fast sound to mark their territory. Uh -huh. That's what I hear him doing. He's on an old dead tree over there. As we float under this bridge, there's a ton of swallows' nests up in the cracks. Let's look straight up. Our van. He's driving the van down for us. So, did you spend the weekend in Leavenworth? Yes, yeah, that's great. What other things did you find to do? You went to Grace Keller. And we were mostly um, in the Be like Bavarian village, just. Yeah. But what else do you recommend? Isn't it beautiful? I own this company. I, I started started it 21 years ago, and also that is all the that is all the tangos. <laughs> it's what? All them. I didn't hit catch that. The the company is all them. Older. Older. Oh really? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, um, he, yeah, I he's would, super young. But when I, before I was doing this, I used to do all the whitewater rafting that we were talking about before. And when I started this company, I said, my friend said, "That's the boring part of the river. No one's going <laughs> to want to do that." But it's not boring. It's beautiful. Because everyone else wants big waves, big action. 
but then there are people like us who wants to re like relax yeah, and enjoy the relax. nature yeah rivers are on the rise it's been so warm the last few days that it just gets higher and higher every day we're starting to starting to see it flood the the banks in places the low spots are all filling in with water and in fact where i picked you up downtown when we used the trails there to end those trails are all probably all underwater today yeah, the, tra oh, really? the trails that we use to uh, access the river on that side. River is filled with fishermen this time of year, mm -hmm. but the uh, people in charge haven't opened the fishing season yet. <laughs> but uh, does, does it get flooded? I mean, I haven't seen that on my, but it looks like it might this time. It's gonna, he's gonna get extra water on his yard. Mm -hmm. I don't think the homes are at, at risk, but the yards are flooded. Right, if you look up on the hill, there's a big home up there, huge. Yeah. I, I 